All right, I'm going to do my first instructional video on YouTube. Um, never done this before. This is an older song. It's by Sixpence None the Richer, and the name of the song is Kiss Me. And first of all, uh, there's a lot of interpretations how to play this, and it doesn't make any difference how you play it, as long as you think it sounds good and you're enjoying it. So that's the important thing. Um, I watch a lot of the videos on YouTube, and everybody has their own interpretation, and that's fine. Uh, this is my interpretation, and I think it sounds good, so you can take from it what you want, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So, the way you start off is you put the capo in the third fret. The only way to play this song. I don't know anyone that can play it any other way to have it sound right. Capo in the third fret, so remember that. Got to do that. And then <clears throat> what you're doing is you're starting off with the C. Now I'm going to do these chords relative to the capo here, calling this the first fret. So this would be a C. It's actually an E flat. Three steps there. So C, C sharp, D, D sharp. So that'd be an E flat. So you're going from a C to a C major seven to a C7, back to the C major 7. So here's how it sounds. Um, the important thing to note too it's a little bit tricky. You have to work at your strum on it. Strumming is really makes this song sound good. So I've got a pretty good strum pattern. I, a lot of people comment on my strumming and say it's pretty good. Uh, that's probably one of my strengths. I've got a lot of weaknesses, but one of my strengths is probably rhythm guitar. I love to, I played rhythm guitar for a church band for 10 years and I really enjoyed that. So um, <clears throat> I've, I've done a lot of strumming. So strumming on these patterns is, is real important, and you, you kind of just pick that up after a while. I don't really know how to teach it. I just do it. So, but anyway, I'll do one more little round here, and then we'll go into what I would call transition chords before the chorus. And I play two transition chords. The first one will be an F, the next one will be an E minor. So we'll see how that sounds. <laughs> that up. So, a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I can't say I'm the best teacher in the world. I'm just, I just play the songs and now I've got to sort of explain what I'm doing. So, um, sometimes I really don't know what I'm doing. But um, So, I, those two transition chords go into the chorus. So, I go... And then two down on the... So, you're playing an F and then you're playing an E minor, and then you're playing a D minor, G, C, A minor, D minor, G, C, C7, D minor, G, C, A string, A string with an A minor, G, F, F major 7, Jesus, and then come off the G sus to the G. Again, I'm privileged because I'm playing the G the way everyone should be playing a G. Um, I don't know. Again, I don't know why people play G's like this. You can't do any suspended. The suspended would be down here somewhere. I don't know. 
maybe you can play better than I can. I can't get that down where the darn. It's so much easier to play a G here. And now I'm given some more instruction here, probably more than I need to, but from this G, you can go to an E minor, G to an A minor, G to a C, G to a, all relatively easy compared to a G here, all the way around to a C, or G here, all the way around to an E, or an A minor, or a G here, all coming over here to the D. It's so much easier, you're in position to play a C by just putting this finger down, moving those two over. I can't play. <laughs> That's fast from a G to a C. Um, this way. I don't know how people can play a G this way. I really don't. There are certain songs though when you play a full G, let's see, like this. Chris Tomlin songs or whatever, um, <clears throat> making it really sound cool. And yeah, there are times you play a G that way, but um, for the most part, the simple G, the three string G should be played like this because it makes it so much easier. And you could suspend it, which I did. I'm off track. Okay, now let me just go through the song again. And I'll try to explain the chords while I go along here, but uh, light friendly pattern, it's a lot of fun to play. It's kind of tight there, but I'll just play that part again from the transition on. song to play it really is um, <laughs> if, if you have any questions <laughs> I can't imagine but if you have any questions uh, get a hold of me um, you can comment and let me know how good I did on my first instructional video um, be nice be nice to me <laughs> I don't know if I take criticism too well um, but anyway um, I hope you learned something from this I'm sure you probably did so um, Keep playing and um, I'll come up with some more instructional videos on the other songs. Um, a lot of songs that I play, of course, when you look at Lefty Lair, um, you'll pull up all my videos. Um, there's about 85, 90 of them or so. And most of the songs that I do are, are 60s songs. I play Beatles, Beach Boys, Bee Gees, almost anything with B, I I guess. Um, Backstreet Boys, no, I don't do that one. But anyway, I play a lot of uh, a lot of songs from uh, from the '60s, and I'll probably come up with some more instructional videos. Um, but this one, I hope you hope you learn from it, and uh, good luck on playing it. Thanks.